hey y'all welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but your girl been going through anyway i just want to say thank you so much to my new subscribers that are here and what's up to the old bays that are here thank you for sticking with me i really appreciate it your support means the world do not forget to like comment and subscribe and um let's get this thing going because i got got some Ooh, excuse me because I got some things that I got to get off my chest you girl been feeling some type of way all right so here's a little Monday night motivation um I wasn't going to record this video because I just been dealing with a lot lately and um I've been feeling a little down I don't want to call it a depression I definitely think it's a bit of grieving um, I feel like I'm still in the grieving stages of like losing my mom <sighs> I don't want to cry but um the holidays came and I made it through like I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing myself for my baby because after all she doesn't you know I'm not going to say she doesn't know what grief is because I'm pretty sure she's grieving in her own little way. But she, like it's just, every day is just the same to her, you know. Um, but anyway, I've been grieving the loss of my mom. And the holidays hit me, but I pushed through. And now that we're in January, her birthday month, it has been really, 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 really hard. Oh, God, I don't want to cry. Give me a second okay so anyway i um like i was saying january is her birthday month so it's been really hard for me to push through her birthday is on january 25th and this will be our first um birthday well her first birthday you know her first heavenly birthday should i say and it's yo it's so freaking hard to like push through that on top of that, I um just been really feeling discouraged from this YouTube journey. I know I'm just beginning, but um something happened which I will I will get into that like when I sit like when I do a real vlog. This is just a real quick like Monday motivation type of thing. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so you know aside from that i've just been having like a lot of personal things going on and i have just been really trying to hold it together and push it through and i feel like i finally reached my breaking point um but today i met somebody that put life into perspective for me and they didn't even know and so i am here to just tell you that um you have to pay attention to the signs you have to pay attention to when you're feeling some type of way you have to pay attention to the things that god put in front of you because everything that you do or everything that happens happens for a reason so anyway we are right now without a vehicle so i have to take my daughter to school via uber or lyft every day and i've been doing that for like the last month and yeah every day for the last month and that's a it's a hefty bill um so you know but we've been making it do what it do today my uber driver we were just like having casual conversations about movies and just being really um you know just chatty should i say chatty anyway at the end of our ride um, we really pulled up in front of my place and um, we stopped and we talked and mind you journey is in the car and we got on a topic about um, I don't know how we even got on this topic but we started talking about the fact that he had a stroke and we were talking about how things has changed for him and you know um, how he doesn't have 100% use of his limbs and I was amazed and in awe. He was like, yeah, like if you notice, like I have like a, a speech impediment and um, he was just telling me like sometimes he forgets to, um, sometimes he forgets to swallow as he talks because it's not automatic for him. Um, and 
just things that the entire ride we were talking and I'm mindlessly talking to him because my mind is in a million different places I gotta go home I gotta cook dinner I gotta bathe my baby I gotta get ready for um, work in the morning I like just a million things aside from the fact that damn I really feel depressed you know and as he's talking to me and then he's telling me all these things that he's gone through all these things that um, he's experienced and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, damn, you're blessed. You are blessed. So, yes, you're 100% grieving your mom. But would your mom want you just sitting and sulking and being depressed because she's not here? Or would she want you to go on and do the things that she knew from jump that you wanted to do, like starting a YouTube? My mother knew that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. That was the whole point of me starting a YouTube channel anyway. After she passed, I'm like, let me just throw myself out there because this is something that we used to always talk about. But it's like, would she want you to just be in a high functioning depression, not paying attention to life, not paying attention to every day, not just being who you were? And my mother 100% would not want me to be like that. And um, damn, y'all I said I don't want to cry. I'm really fighting it. And um. Yeah, I don't, my mother wouldn't want me to be like that, and I don't want to be like that. So, everything in my body, from my bones, like, I felt it in my skin. Like, he he made the hairs in the back of my neck stood up, stand up when we were talking about some of the things that we experienced and how, you know, but he's good, you know? And for me, I'm like, I have... Anything and everything I could ever want except for my mother, you know, and I know that losing someone is a part of life But I feel like it um, like it was 100% about to take me under because even things such as just getting up and taking journey to school Has been a task for me in these last two weeks like too much and I feel like after my mother passed, because it was like, your mother is going, take care of business. Like, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to put this in order. Like, I feel like once once I went into that mode, I didn't give myself a, a chance to grieve. And so now I'm in my grieving phase, and I absolutely hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But... I know that I have to pull myself together and um, just do better. Like, I have to do better. And my best friend keeps telling me to be gentle with myself. Be gentle with myself in my grieving process. Be gentle with myself in my healing process. Be gentle with myself through this YouTube journey. Like, just be gentle with myself. And it brought me to... Um, the point of I need to like revamp everything like I don't know um, I need to revamp everything I need to reframe the way I think I need to reframe the way I am um, the way I feel I need to reframe a lot and I think that is what I'm just really going to focus on, you know, just getting myself back on track and pushing through. What can I, what else can I say? But I just want to encourage somebody else. Like if you're feeling like that, if you're feeling like there is something that's like not holding you back, but it's like a heavy weight, like a burden, like a heavy thought, heavy heart, heavy mind, heavy soul. Like if you're feeling any of that, I just want to encourage you to stay the course, pray, meditate, write, you know, read, work out, whatever it is that that's going to get you going, do it. I am going to um, 
start journaling and that's something that i'm gonna do like obviously behind the scenes i'm not gonna get on youtube and be like hey youtube look at my journal <laughs> but i'm gonna start journaling just to um get some of these emotions out and it's not that i don't have people to talk to because i have a hell of a support system i have my best friend i have my cousins i have my man i have my brother who my brother is so amazing but i have all those people you know that i can talk to but i just never want to be the type of person that put my weight on someone else and so for me i think journaling is going to be the avenue and prayer i am going to purchase my with God it was something that I wanted to really really do last year but after the turn of events of what happened with my mom I just was really angry and questioning like questioning everything questioning my faith questioning everything so getting closer to God was something that as as much as I wanted it just I'm gonna just leave that there but now I'm like starting to feel like the urge to get closer and to grow into Christ. And that is going to be a personal journey. That's also something that I'll, I mean, other people share, but I, I just, it's something I have to do for me. But anyway, with that said, again, please, please stay the course, stay focused, whatever goal you have. Whatever you feel like is holding you back, whatever you feel like is holding you down, stopping you from being the best you, whether it's, I'm, I'm going to just say anything because it literally can be anything. The things that we, and that was the point of this whole video, the things that we think are so, um, so big you can push you can push through you can push through because i never thought i would survive losing my mother like my mother was literally not just my mother but she was my best friend like my home girl you see that my home girl that's my homie but i never thought i would survive something like that like ever and it's tough so i'm pushing through and she wouldn't want anything else but that and that's the thing that has to get me through each day so with that said good night y'all because it is night time um today is thursday but i'm not gonna lie to you after i just did all of that like pouring out my heart i am not posting this video today i cannot see myself editing in this today i just want to let that be my release and um we'll revisit this tomorrow so maybe this will be a friday night vlog but we still gonna call it monday motivation <laughs> i'm just joking I'm, I'm probably gonna post it on monday i'll do some shorts in between which i would have seen by then and i'm gonna just get back to it because ain't nothing to it but to do it ain't nothing to it but to do it ain't nothing <laughs> see y'all ain't nothing to it but to do it Oh, hey man, oh. hey man, I like that though. Huh? It's like an affirmation, right? Ain't nothing to it but to do. It. All right, I want to hear you feel it though. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It. Give it to me one more time. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It. Now rock Ain't nothing to it yourself. but to do. It. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It. Slow it down. Nothing to it but to do. It. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It. Ain't nothing to it but to do. It.